welcome friends today we will learn about the how to indicate the direction and plane in the hcp unit cell so direction in hcp unit cell are indicated by four indices u v t and w what is u equal to that is 1 over 3 to u prime minus v prime where v is equal to 1 over 3 to v prime minus u prime and t is equal to minus u plus v and what is w equal to w is equal to w prime where u prime v prime and w prime are the miller indices in conventional three dimensional system let's suppose this is the given hcp unit cell and this is your a1 direction and this is your minus a1 direction this is your a2 direction this is your minus a2 direction this is your a3 direction and this is your minus a3 direction let this red line is certain direction and we have to find the indices for this direction so first of all as we mentioned above so that our four indices that u v t and w depend on the u prime v prime and w prime where v prime u prime and w prime are indices in three dimensional system so we will first ignore this a3 and find the v prime u prime and w prime for that i will have to shift this to this position such that it start from this origin o and end at this corner now we will deal it in three axes that is a1 a2 and c if you draw this direction in a cube so it will look like just this that it is originating from the origin and ends at this corner where this is your x-axis this is your y-axis and this is your z-axis so in this specific condition we see that if we move one along x-axis one along y-axis and one along z-axis then only we can reach at this point so the three indices for this specific direction will be one 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 so we get our u prime is equal to 1, v prime is equal to 1 and w prime is equal to 1. Then u is equal to 1 over 3 to 1 that is u prime minus 1 which is equal to 1 over 3 and v is equal to 1 over 3 2 into v prime which is equal to 1 minus 1 and which is equal to 1 over 3 and t is equal to minus u plus v. So that will give you minus 2 divided by 3 where w was equal to w prime which is equal to 1. So by removing fraction uh, we will get the four indices that is u, t, u, v, t and w that are equal to 1, 1, 2 bar, 3. And how we can remove the fraction by multiplying all of them by 3. Indices for this specific direction are 1. 1 2 bar 3 now we take another example let's suppose once again we have a unit cell for hcp this is your a1 direction this is your a2 direction and this is your a3 direction and this point is your origin our given direction is this one that is shown by the red line and we have to find the indices for this specific direction so first of all we will shift it to this position such that it start from this origin and cut this axis at the half so now we can see that if we draw this specific blue line in this three dimensional system that is your x axis y axis and z axis then this line will be like this one that is a start from the origin o and cut this side at the half such that the position coordinate for this point will be 0 along the axis that is we have to move 0 along the x axis 1 along the y axis and half along the z axis so we will get to this specific point so indices for this specific direction will be 0 to 1 so we get that u prime v prime w prime is equal to 0 to 1 then what is u equal to that is 
1 over 3 into 2 u prime that is equal to 0 minus v prime that is equal to 2. We get minus 2 divided by 3. Where v is equal to 1 over 3 2 into v prime that is equal to 2 minus 0 which will give you which will give you 4 divided by 3 and t is equal to minus u plus v that is minus 2 divided by 3 plus 4 divided by 3 it gives you minus 2 divided by 3 and w is equal to w prime which is equal to 1 so by removing fraction we will get the indices u v t and w are equal to 2 bar that indicates negative bar indicates negative sign and 4 once again 2 bar 3 how we remove fraction by multiplying all of them by 3 planes in hcp unit cell are indicated by hkil these are the four indices through which we represent the indices of a plane in hcp unit cell so this is your unit cell for the hcp so this central point is the origin this is a one direction this is your minus a one direction this is your a2 direction this is your minus a2 direction this is a3 direction this is your minus a3 direction so we have here indicated the three different planes so first we will take this front plane which is indicated by the blue lines so first of all we will find the intercept of this plane with the each axis so intercept of the plane at a1 is equal to 1 so it cuts the a1 at the 1 position so intercept of the plane at the a2 is equal to minus 1 because it cuts the minus a2 at the 1 position intercept of the plane at a3 is equal to infinity because this plane is parallel to this axis and there is no intercept specific so we we get that it is equal to 1 over 0 intercept of the plane at the c axis is also at infinity because it is parallel to this c axis so we get 1 over 0 so just take the reciprocal of all these four intercepts and we will get that indices h k i l are equal to 1 1 bar 0 0 where bar indicates the negative direction so now we can see the other two planes also and we will treat these two planes also by the same method and you can see that as the intercept of this plane with the a1 is at infinity because it is parallel to this a1 so we get 0 for this specific h so intercept of this plane with the a2 is at negative direction so that cuts it at 1 so we get 1 bar for k intercept of the plane with the a3 is at 1 so we get 1 at this specific and we get i is equal to 1 intercept of the plane with the c is at infinity so we get 0 once again for the n intercept for this basal plane are such that this plane is parallel to the a1 a2 in a3 direction so we get 0 0 0 and the only intercept it has is with the c so we get 1 for this specific condition so indices are 0 0 0 1 for this specific plane thanks thanks for watching this video please subscribe this channel for the future videos